The next we have to look at is the vector resolution method. The vector resolution method. Vector resolution the vector resolution method so with this method what all that we need is, is to resolve each of the vectors that will be given and then we put all the horizontal components together and then all the vertical components together and that will be very simple for us say we have a vector v1, another vector v2, another vector v3. This vector makes an angle theta, alpha, and say beta. With the resolution method of vector addition, we are supposed to resolve each of these vectors. We are supposed to resolve each of these vectors. So let's see how we go by this. So we pick V1. V1 here is given by v1 cos theta v1 sin theta all will be positive because v1 is in the first quadrant so v2 here will give us v2 cos alpha minus v2 sin alpha and then V3 will give us minus V3 cos beta minus V3 sine beta.